Part 2. The methodology of Michael Chekhov. Here I'll be looking at the use of psychological gesture, affirmations at the beginning of the creation of gesture in relation to emotional states, gesture mapping the text, and the assimilation of gesture into the text. Psychological gesture. Are you familiar with psychological gesture? Mm. So what do you know about psychological gesture? Mm. Oh, I think I understand. That's her thing, psychological gesture. Yeah, she wants to do that. It was back in the first year when we were studying American Buffalo and so on. Movement. He said that he really, I think he realised that gesture, there were, there were certain gestures that he saw in people, and they seemed to be universal. And those gestures that elicited a certain response within him, a fundamental response. And I think what he thought, he thought is, um, if we can liken gesture to action in an emotional state, that allows the actors to start to tap into that emotional state quicker than it would be to have to do the action. Because with, with what the Grunt was doing, I'll take it one step further with him. So what he would, he would do is that he would look at a, a scene, I would look at the scene, and he would say, right, I want you to make a gesture mark for the entire scene. And we'd go from gesture to gesture to gesture to gesture. Mm -hmm. Which sort of elicits an emotional response in the audience. And then you're being vigilant. Mm -hmm. And then what he says is, do it again. And then every time you do it, try to bring the gesture within yourself until you're doing the, the lines. But the gestures within are not being played. Does that make sense? Chekhov said that negativity in a rehearsal room, just from what I can read, and I've not read this explicitly, but from reading his work, he said that if you, if you bring negativity in with you, you can't get rid of it. Mm -hmm. so you have to always start from a positive place. And I think that's fine. Thank you. Jim. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're, you're, make, you're writing your name, you're moving around, so you're, you're moulding the space, so you're completely in charge of the space you're in. And there's loads of detail. And try it one more time, you try to sort of illustrate the weight of the box. Okay, so the first gesture will be thick. Water, air, radiate, water, Do one where we just do the gestures. Right? So take it from the end of your speech and you come up. Do the gestures. And then and then at a point you swap do you two swap over. Yeah. Yeah? You keep the gestures going. Yeah? And then then we'll talk about that for a bit. And then we'll do another one. We'll, we'll, we'll speak with the gestures. Yeah? All right. Okay. And with this is just, don't worry about, it's going to be good, whatever we do is good. Does that make sense? Because, because it is, because we're trying something, so when we create something, it's good. Mm. It's, it's not going to be a finished article, and it might not be, we will make it better, but everything you create is precious. Mm. So don't, don't have an internal editor going on. Oh,
Nice, brilliant, that was really good. What I like now would be your more confident movement system. Right, so let's go for the words. We're going to move them, all right? And then what music? He's almost sat. Why have you left the chamber? Have they asked for me? No, you not, he has. We'll proceed no further in this business. He hath honoured me of late, and I have bought golden opinions from all sorts of people, which would be worn now in their newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. Was the hope drunk wherein you could? In peace, I dare do all that becomes a man who dares more is none. What beast was it then that made you break this enterprise to me? When you dare to do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more than that. No time, no place, did it did, and yet you would make both. They have. If it were done, when tis done, then to a well it were done quickly. If the assassination could trammel up the consequence and catch with his surcease success, that but this blow might be the be all and the end all. Here, but here, upon this bank and shoal of time. Ah, now, what news? He is almost sucked. Why have you left the chamber? Have they asked for me? Maybe not he has. We'll proceed no further in this business. He hath honoured me of late, and I have brought business, uh, I have brought golden opinions of all sorts of people, which would now be worn in their newest gloss, not, not, not cast aside so soon. Was the hope drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Had it slept since, and waits it now to look so pale and green, and what it did so freely? From this time such I account thy love, art thou feared to be the same in thine own act and valour as thou art in desire? Wouldst thou have that which thou esteemst the ornament of life and live a coward in, in thine own esteem? Let it I dare not wait upon I would by all getting in love. Pretty peace. I dare do all that may become a man who, dare do, who dares to do more is none. What beast was then that made you break this enterprise to me? When you dare to do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more than man. Nor time, nor place in a day, and yet you would make both. They have made themselves. And that their fitness now does unmake you. I have, I have given suck, and know how tender it is to love the babe that milks me. I would, while it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from his boneless gums and dashed the brains out. Had I so sworn as you have done to me?